Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Time to finally revisit one of my favorite beers of all time. Um, have not had this beer in a while. We've been talking about it recently. Um, going back to reviewing, you know, shelf beers, beers that are re uh, readily available. Um, I have not, for the life of me, been able to find this beer fresh. And finally today, when I stopped at the store on the way home, I saw um, a six pack that was about three weeks old. This is August 12th canning. Today is September 2nd. So uh, this is Sculpin from Ballast Point. I think everybody knows this beer. Um, this beer, back in the day, used to be a unicorn. Um, like I said, one of my favorite beers ever. Um, you literally, back in 2011-ish, could trade this for any beer you wanted. It was unreal. So, uh, yeah, Ballast Point, San Diego. Uh, they got bought out a couple years ago by Constellation. I don't drink Ballast Point beer anymore. Um, the price point is just awful here for some reason. It's crazy. Luckily, this uh, six-pack was on sale. I don't know if they're doing like Labor Day weekend sales, but six-pack of six-ounce cans was $13.99 not great but not the end of the world typically i see it for 17.99 and more which is insanity so uh seven percent i think right seven percent alcohol by volume so let's do it um i have fond fond memories of this beer uh there was a place downtown oceanside back 2011 2012 um what is happening is that gonna go over um <laughs> I didn't feel like I poured that that hard. Uh, there was a spot downtown Oceanside. We used to go on Thursday nights for the Thursday night market. It's not there anymore. It was called Tremont. What was it called? Tremont Street Bar and Grill, I think. Um, you used to be able to get pitchers of Sculpin for five bucks. Five dollar pitchers. It was any beer, but they always had Sculpin on tap. So that's the greatest deal in the history of beer. Um, I, I don't like care to argue with that. I'll die on that hill. Like, I don't care that you used to buy you know 36 packs of whatever beer for five bucks five dollar pitchers of sculpin for it like it's five bucks for four pints like that's it's an insane deal for like with that beer beings that you could trade it for anything you could trade this beer back in the day for heady topper you could trade it for zombie dust for two-hearted you could trade it for pliny you could trade it for anything it was amazing so um i don't know if this beer is still good we'll find out it is like a kind of a golden copper color crystal clear plenty of carb you saw from that pour um there was a good two fingers of uh, bright white head. It's kind of rocky, sudsy, but yeah. Looks like Sculpin. I don't remember the hops of this beer. I don't think it'll tell us. I want to say this had like i uh, I'm not even going to try and guess. Who cares? Let's smell it. Ooh, it actually still smells good. Um, I remember, I mean, this was back when I was like really getting into IPAs. I remember this beer smelling fairly intense, like dank and resinous, but this is more like tropical fruity. It's sweet. It's like stone fruity, sweet tangerine. -y. And it's got a good amount of like sourdough bread crust. It's not as intense as like I remember it smelling. It's weird how your, you know, palate and your nose kind of evolves. I mean, this was 11 years ago we were drinking this beer all the time. So just over the past, you know, in that time, um, just how, like, I don't know. It doesn't smell bad. It smells good. It just, it's not as intense as I remember it being. But yeah, plenty of tropical fruity, stone fruity, white bread crust. So let's go and taste it. Cheers. I'm happy to report that beer is still delicious. And that piney, resinous, bitter, um, kind of dank thing is there mid palate to finish. This beer, um, this can at this temperature, it's pretty warm out in my garage right now, uh, very bitter. It's like biting into a pink grapefruit peel and chewing on it, and it is not going away. Ooh, I like it. This is a tiny glass. Let's give ourselves a little bit more. Yeah, this this just reminds me of moving back to San Diego and getting into West Coast IPA. It's it's insane the amount of bitterness that's on that. It is pithy every citrus you can think of with pink grapefruit being dominant. There's orange peel in there, lemon zest, um, pine needle. 
it's floral on your on your tongue mid palate to finish all of that stone fruity tropical um, citrus that you're smelling you get a little bit on the front of your tongue and then you're just kind of assaulted mid palate to finish I don't know if I remember maybe I maybe I remember it being this bitter and like lingering super dry on the finish um, with a nice sweetness I guess back then too, like there was a stone tasting room right there. We would drink stone beer all the time. So maybe we were just drinking super, you know, bitter, intense beers. And that's how this beer was. And I just don't recall it, but um, yeah, happy to report this beer is still really good. Um, is this the beer that I remember like losing my mind over? Probably not, but it's still really, really good. Uh, the only problem is, is I don't see this fresh and most of the time it's super expensive. So. This is one of those beers I just, I won't continue buying, unfortunately, unless I see it fresh and um, on sale. I just, when you're getting into the $20 for a six pack of 12 ounce cans, like get the fuck out of here. That's insane. Especially the brewery's 30 minutes down the road for me. Like we should not be paying that much money for this beer. We shouldn't be paying that, that much money for any beer, um, if we're being honest, but stuff's starting to get crazy in the craft beer world. These guys are just heavily hopping these beers and we're seeing four packs of triple IPAs for almost $30. Like. I mean, makes sense to get back into the macro lager game. Like, why not? I spot a 24 pack of hams for $14.99. Like, <laughs> you be the, ju the judge of that. But this beer is still an extremely excellent uh, example of a West Coast IPA. It's fantastic still. So, even with that Constellation sellout, they still know how to brew Sculpin. So, that's a good thing. It is world class still, in my opinion, for a West Coast IPA. So, uh, have you guys revisited this beer lately? What do you think of it? I am happy to say that I love it, and I will happily drink the other five cans in my fridge. So that's it. I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All this shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all the